much of these discussions involve the feet being severed. We want to make it clear there is no evidence that these feet have been severed. There were no tool markings and no visible sign of trauma. Well, these are obviously very challenging samples. It's being in water is a worst case scenario in some aspects for recovering usable DNA. But it does appear that um, these, these samples are going to yield usable information. So with the technology we have today and new technology that's become available in the past year, um, even these difficult samples are yielding useful information. Using recent DNA analysis, the BC Coroner Service has confirmed the remains of a right foot found on February 8, 2008 on Valdez Island and the remains of a left foot found on June 16, 2008 on Westham Island are from the same male. This male is yet to be identified. As well, the Coroner Service has determined the right foot found on Kirkham Island on May 22, 2008 is that of a female. This female is yet to be identified. DNA profiles are now completed for the right, uh, the right male feet found on Jedediah Island and Gabriola Island. Work to obtain a complete DNA profile for the foot found on Kirkland Island continues. BC Coroner Service uses information on physical characteristics from exams, pathologists, and anthropologists, along with DNA analysis of the feet in order to build the most enhanced profile possible. Delta Police Department and the Coroner Service to determine identities for the remaining three right feet found between August 2007 and May 2008 in the waters around Jedediah Island, Gabriola Island, and Kirkland Island are ongoing. Uh, hence the reason why we are asking anyone who may uh, have had their loved one uh, last seen wearing uh, this particular pair of shoes to uh, contact us immediately. are scratching their heads after a human foot in a running shoe washed up on shore. Thing is, it's not the first time it's happened. It's not the second or even the third time that it's happened. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the story. As mysteries go, it doesn't get much stranger. A running shoe containing what appears to be a human foot washed ashore near downtown Vancouver. A citizen called Vancouver Police to report that they'd found what they thought was a foot and part of a leg and the leg bones washed up here. Eight feet have been found along the coast of British Columbia, while three more were discovered along the coast of nearby Washington State. Nearly all of them have been found in running shoes, leaving one magazine to ask if the Reebok Ripper was on the loose. We have not ruled out any possibilities, and we have to be aware that these could be homicide victims. One theory is that modern running shoes are more buoyant, and so feet from decomposing bodies in the water are more likely to wash ashore. 
But whose bodies? Only three people have been matched to the feet. One a suspected suicide, another an unidentified Canadian woman. Without much to work with, DNA and the brand and manufacturing date of the shoes are the best clues investigators have in what is a growing mystery. The DNA will tell you if it's a female or a male. But unless you have something to compare it to, you just have to sit back and wait and hope that somebody reports someone missing. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.